Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can combine multiple LUTs in one filter and changing them with this UI picker here on the bottom. It's pretty simple, so let's start! Hi again, so let's start building this filter. For this filter I will use the built-in LUT patch from Spark AR, but you can also use the classic fast color LUT patch. Of course it is working the same way. So go to your menu bar, click on file, then go to import and select color LUT. Here select the first color LUT you want to import. So let's open this. So you will see your color LUT here um, in the assets panel and when you drag and drop this color LUT to your batch editor you will get and this color LUT patch I told you which is built in to the Spark AR Studio but as I said you can um, also use the fast color LUT patch instead of this. So the next step is to import the other um, LUTs you want to use so just drag and drop them into your Spark AR Studio and also import the icons you want to use for the um, UI picker so also import these. Um, free of course because I will use um, free LUTs here in this filter and one important thing is that you enable the no compression um, function here by all um, textures you are importing so yeah just click on no compression otherwise there will be some um, yeah massive problems with the filter when you don't enable this function so let's move on the next step is that we um, extract the camera texture from the camera object so just click on the camera object then go to the right hand side and click on this plus to um, extract the camera texture then drag and drop the camera texture into your batch editor and connect the output rgba of the camera texture to the input texture of the um, color LUT shaders so next step is to create the objects where we um, apply the LUTs to so for this we have to create free rectangle objects so just create one and then copy and paste the two others make sure you don't have anything selected elsewhere because otherwise it will be duplicated too so yeah just select the rectangle and copy it two times so i have also three but yeah of course copy it as often as you as you have lots in your project so for for now we only have this small little rectangle here on the left upper corner but select all three rectangles go on the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height also to fill height so now i'm gone <laughs> but we will fix that so we also need three color LUT shaders so also duplicate them too so we have three here and for the texture input we use also the camera texture input so for the LUT we drag and drop the two LUTs we haven't used yet, so just drag and drop them into and now we have them here and the RGBA output of each LUT goes to the color LUT input of the color LUT shaders. So next up we have to create three materials or yeah, instead of three as many LUTs you want to include. Um, I will call this first material LUT1 and then duplicate it also so we have three materials here i select all three of my materials and then go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat this is really really important and also the advanced render object options um, disable use dev test and write to dev so after this is done go to the diffuse option here then to texture and here's this little this little arrow click on it and then you will extract this diffuse texture into your patch editor and then connect the output of each color LUT shader to the LUT input as I do it here so now we have set up our LUTs but yeah nothing is um, visible here in the viewport so let's let's apply the materials to the rectangle object so for the first rectangle I will apply material one for the rectangle for the second the next one and for the last the last one so now <laughs> i'm back hi and um, now you can see also there is a lut applied and when you when i disable the visibility of this rectangle there is a, another lut underneath but we now want to control this with this ui picker so for this we have to create an ui picker so go to add patch and search for UI picker or picker UI 
And now we have it here. The first thing we have to do is um, turn on the visibility of the UI picker. And then I already in, um, imported the pictures I want to show here at the UI picker. So for the texture one, I will I want to show my one picture for two the two and for three the three. So after I've done this, I am reloading my restarting my filter and you can already see the three buttons. But when I yeah click on them, nothing is happening. So let's move on. The next step here is to create an option sender. So add batch and here click on it and then change from the from the number option to the boolean option and activate value here and then connect the selected option index with the option input of the option sender and then extract the visibility of the three rectangle objects to your batch editor so just select all of them then go to the right hand side and click off to the click on this little um, arrow next to visible and then they also get extracted here into the batch editor and now I'm just um, yeah connect the output 0 to the first one the output 1 to the second one and the output 3 to the last one and now our filter is ready so when we click on 1 there is this LUT when we click on 2 there is another LUT and on 3 there is also uh, yeah the last LUT is here apply it and yeah i think that is pretty cool so you can um yeah use multiple lots in one filter so if you like this video it would be cool if you leave a thumbs up here and also if you don't want to miss my next tutorials here on this channel yeah subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you next time bye